What is going on YouTube? Lance Huffman here back with another video. It is Wednesday, March 22nd here at Huffman Racing. It's a rainy Wednesday morning today, but we've got some work to do. As you can see, we have lights back here, so I'm gonna show you guys that. I've actually converted over some of our ballast lights to LEDs. Looks a lot better, we finally can see in here. Uh, it is kind of cold this morning, so I've had the heater running, but uh, today we are going to finish up work on Gilbert for this weekend's uh, Twin 40s at Hickory Motor Speedway. We're gonna work on Fido. Yes, that hunk of crap that's sitting over here in the corner. We're gonna work on that some today, and I've got some stuff to do on Francis as well. But thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. I really appreciate the support on the channel here as of late. We've been growing and it's been a lot of fun. So thank you guys for being here. Let's go ahead and get into the video. When I say we've got lights, I mean we got lights. Check this out. Bam! It looks so much better in here. So I actually got a different light for these that I had replaced versus what I had in the previous LEDs that I had converted. But I plan on trying to get more of the white light versus this warmer light. And then I'll probably just move these bulbs back to, cause I still have to replace those and then move those hanging lights. I've got ballast back here that I still have to replace. We've got the parts room that needs to be replaced. So still a lot of progress to be made, but I did get some of that done. I only have one bulb in these right now, just because I didn't have enough in the order that I made, but way more light in here right now. And then obviously we, we still need some light up front too, but I'll drop a link down below in the description to the video of me actually converting these over way a year ago or so for these first couple. As you can see, Gilbert is in a much better place than the last time you've seen it. <laughs> last week on the channel, we got the rear end back in it, straightened everything up, put the right side back together best we can, and it's actually ready to go on scales tonight. So that is the plan. We're ahead of the ball game there. Potentially practice on Friday ahead of this weekend's Twin 40s at Hickory on Saturday, but we will have to see. So Gilbert, for the most part, is pretty much done and ready to go to the scales. We had an off week this past weekend, so it actually gave us some time here at the shop to work on our trailer a little bit. We worked on Francis some, finally got the rear end back under it. That'll be our Wake County car and then limited late model at Hickory. So today I've got to get a steering box off of it and I actually have a 10 to one to put on it. It's got a 12 to one on it right now. So we got to work on that. And then I'm going to completely strip Fido today or try to, at least for the most part. I mean, we're going to see how bad that thing really is today. <laughs> So this is what I just took off of it, which is a really old style 12 to one box, 35 valve. So if anybody wants a 12 to one steering box with a 35 valve, let me know it's for sale. <laughs> and then this is what I'm putting on it, which is a brand new box from Sweet. It's the uh, heavier version. A lot of people don't like these, but it was only like $850 from Sweet's website. So. That's what I went with because it's so hard to find 10 to one boxes. I do have that lightweight box on Gilbert, which I do agree is better. However, uh, this style box right here is just a cheaper option. So that's what I'm putting on the limited car because I'm not running the 12 to one. RJ, how we doing? What do you got to do? Tell me. I thought you said you had something that needed to be done. That's why you were coming over today. No, I asked you to get something for me to do so I can help you knock some shit out. Oh, okay, perfect. Did we just break a bit? No. Huh? No. Oh, so the goal here is to get this body stripped off of Fido's ass. So that it's a little less of an eyesore. Clean the chassis up and see what exactly we're working with or see how big of a piece of shit this thing really is which we kind of already have an idea of, but gigantic ass radiator and just a bunch of junk on this thing. We have used a bunch of pieces off of it though. I will say that. Hello, Seth. <laughs> How are we doing today? Let us come see what's going on. All right. Thanks for being along. What you got there, hot fries? Them low calorie. Nice. Five calories. I don't think that's accurate. Oh, 
This thing, I think Travis Brown welded on this perch right here. God bless America. Tell you one thing, if they hear, hit something or ran into anything, there was enough bracing and shit on this front end. To, It'd be like a next gen backing into the wall. <laughs> drive, they could drive through a brick wall and it wouldn't have hurt the front end on this thing. I'll give them that. Huh, they got more up in there? Yeah. Son of a bitch. Hey. <laughs> Piece of shit. Hey, really everything about this thing is, is nice. <laughs> I mean, my favorite part is this tunnel cut out here. That thing is pristine, boy. Woo! Yeah, I reckon. What do you think happened here? What do you think happened to this tunnel cut out? Jigsaw happened. Or an animal, or... I don't know, I can just cut you. This here is our brand new 10x20 tent. Shout out to High Rock. Uh, it was a bitch to get put back in here, so I'm not going to take it out at the moment, but you guys will see that on Saturday. It's a super fancy schmancy 10 by 20 with logos and high rock logos and a whole bunch of cool stuff. So shout out to high rock vodka for the hookup on our new tent. Oh my Woo! God. Look at that, man. What, that car? what the hell is that? <laughs> That's that premium NASCAR next gen ductwork there. Hey, check this out. Look at that young man right there. Circa two th two thousand and four. Hey now. I don't appreciate that. Fucking hell! What? I'm sitting here drilling rivets out. That ain't even nothing. What is this? I will say this right here, if it works, is a lightweight 12 to one steering box, which I feel like could be re-ratioed or sold. Um, so if, if there's a silver lining, it's that. It's not pretty, I'll tell you that. I mean, damn. Like, look at the rust. No race car should have rust. If only race cars could talk. I bet this some bitch right here would have a lot of stories to he tell. A drug addiction. <laughs> it looks like a meth head car. Perfect. <laughs> oh. Or it looks like it's been on meth for a while. Kidney stone free, Jizzle? I am kidney stone free, finally. It didn't hurt coming out so bad. I mean, I felt it come out, but <laughs> it was a lot worse going to the bladder. But I, on my tweet, I got this, I guess it's like a kidney stone Twitter thing. And they kept asking me questions on my damn Twitter page about the kidney stone. Weird. Well, McDonald's was asking you questions too, right? Well, AI hey, McDonald's. Why were you pissed off at McDonald's? Oh, I ordered a damn large fry. I better get enough damn fries for it to be a large, not a damn medium and a large damn thing. That's exactly <laughs> what it was. <laughs> Hell, half the reason I got a damn McDonald's for a damn fries. We have made a discovery. And if this is what we think it is, look at this. It is sharp as hell. And it's just welded into the bottom of this bumper bar. So we think that it was put in here. That way if somebody drives into the left rear, it cuts the right front tire down. That's exactly what that's, that's for. That's what it I has don't, to be for. I don't know why else this sharp Is there one on the other side? Would just be setting it. Nope, not one on this side. Yeah, that's, that's, that's exactly what that had to be for. You leaving already? Yes. Why? Well, Gilbert's done and... I hadn't got cut by that piece of shit yet, and I don't want to. You gotta go home and put a bed together? Yeah, I bought a new bed, and it's in a box, and I'm pretty sure I have to assemble part the of it. The bed will not improve performance. Gives you more angles, though. <laughs> Can you <fit> these? <laughs> I don't think they used the 8 inch rivet on any anything on this car. One of the main reasons why... I felt like we could do this today 
was for one this thing's a damn eyesore in here now we've probably arguably made it even a larger <laughs> eyesore i don't know why it's rob <laughs> yeah but also there's been multiple people in the comments asking where goggles or fido went to and if i got rid of it well clearly we didn't get rid of it unfortunately it's still here but we're giving it some love thank you for your hour and a half contribution rj mm -hmm. part-time job yep I'll send you your uh, stub. Okay, yeah. Make sure you take your taxes out on it, please. I will. Okay. I don't want to hurt you at the end of the year. <laughs> All right. I'll talk to you later. Stay in. All the silicone is crazy to me. I mean, there's silicone everywhere, all over everything. And it's not even silicone nicely. It's just globbed on there. We don't even use silicone anymore, really. Not for crush panels, not for any of this shit. I remember way back when I first started, like 2011, we used uh, silicone and crush panels and stuff, but I don't use any of that anymore. So I found the chassis tag, actually, to know exactly what year Fido is, or goggles, uh, versus, this is Francis right here. As you know, Francis is an older chassis. Gilbert is as well, but Gilbert has a more updated front clip than this car does. But this uh, car is actually, right here is the, I don't know if you'll be able to see it from this or not. In here is the chassis tag. This is a 2000 Townsend car. And I was looking, this is actually the exact same center section structure and everything and sure enough right there is a chassis tag and i believe it is 2004 so 2004 townsend sure enough i took a little lacquer tour townsend racing chassis trc chassis number 370 2004 i love race cars man this car has a story which I think is badass. As ugly as it may be, and as much janky crap that's on it, it's got a story. Which means that it would make a great story to restore it. So I just looked, and Francis's uh, tag is chassis 197. And then Goggles is chassis 370. So between 2000 and 2004, that tells you how many chassis Townsend Racing chassis built. Just looking at this suspension, which I haven't really done since I've got this thing. Uh, these lower A-frames are actually what I'm running on Gilbert, our late mile stock car right now. So I could put those to use. And then uh, the upper is not so much, but still keep them. But yeah, these lowers are exactly what I'm racing on that other car. Dad came in here and uh, just gave me the lowdown on exactly what we're going to do to goggles or Fido to fix it. He said, uh, we're going to cut the front clip off. We already have a front clip back there, actually, to put on it. And then he showed me. He's like, I think this is what I'm going to do to the rear clip. This is how we're going to cut it. He said, and then we're going to spray paint the front and rear black and uh, make a race car out of it. I said, aye, aye, Captain. Also, I've already got this sold. <laughs> I listed it on Facebook, and it's already sold. So, hell yeah. Not a bad day's work. Fido slash goggles. Getting a little rejuvenation here. Not bad. We got a lot done. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the video. I'm going to go up here and uh, change and head over to the local tap room, have a beer or two with dad and the wife and my mom and my sister. So thank you guys so much for supporting what we do here. Again, we race this Saturday at Hickory Motor Speedway. If you don't have a Flow Racing subscription and you'd like to watch, I'll drop a link in the comments. It'll be pinned at the very top. If you click that link, it'll take you to Flow. I get a percentage off of uh, the sign up, so that helps us out here up and racing if you choose to do that and you want to watch this Saturday. But thank you guys so much for supporting this channel. If you haven't already, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. We're on our way to 18K. We're grinding, baby. Thank you guys for the support. I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out.